Brush my teeth up, wash my face Throw my clothes on, start my day Wake up, get up, stretch my go ladies and gentlemen welcome to the lab we uh, i was gonna say the lab but you got me <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing out what's that going dope. on man how you doing I'm, brother all right i'm good all right yeah folks sorry we, we had to start just a little bit late today uh life gets in the way sometimes but you got to do what you got to do appreciate everyone uh still coming in and joining us but uh you know the show must go on Right. I, I see folks coming in. What's up? What's up, Miss Williams in the building? Let me let me go ahead and get these comments right. Man, talk about every time I keep looking at you and, and man, your your camera is on point, brother. Your camera is man, on it's point. not me, man. What up, Sammy? What up, Rich Vibes? What up? Hit the spot 1006. We got everyone see, in the here. The comments is coming fr- Look, the comments is coming in fresh over here on my screen. And then over there on <laughs> yours, I mean, you you got all kind of who is that? Uh, oh yeah, your lady, your ecam lady. Uh, hey, what's her name? Hey. Uh, Miss Umpires, F H Umpires, Miss Laura. You, you How's my right. audio that's, this week? That, that's Keely, brother. Don't you better get it right. She gonna she gonna come yeah, get Keely you. Keely gonna get me right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's it's all love. It's all it's all the family it is. there. It's it is. all the family. Uh, oh, Sammy Tell says she you comes know, to Atlanta. I, I, so. Look, we'll probably have to do lunch. It'll be on me, and I don't offer too many lunches, so she better jump that. on those. Get you get get her some crab legs or something like that. No, 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 no. We talking about Chipotle. <laughs> so, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say I, I'm just rocking some some gear. Uh, Shouts out, Preston. So, Chief Everything Officer, coming to you live uh, with with some of that Hicks New Media swag. And oh, the heck, well, here we go. There we go. I'm like a walking billboard, aren't I? So you have gear, is that correct? Bro, I'm not. I'm not playing. Look, I'm. I'm trying to be like Sammy, the superstar. You know, he's the one that got me hooked up with the organization right. from, from the Giddy Up. So yeah, we we got. I'm coming. I'm just. I'm just banks. a little. You know. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming. I, I'm not going to be as as extravagant as you are. You yeah. know, but yeah. you, you 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 out there. You got a whole store. I'm just trying to have like one or two items. I mean, right. you got headbands, Look, you got. Let's, let's hold on. Let's get focused, right? So I, I got some things, but Sammy just launched some overlays that he's selling too. So he's offering everything under the sun: digital assets, some actual physical gear too. So, I mean, we it's, it's time in 2021. Let's make some things happen. Let's make some right, things happen. Right. You know, right? I'm with you. All right. So since we started a half hour late, I I will say that I've already done my stash investment. So I've already I've already <laughs> acquired my Pepsi Cola stock. So I'm 100 percent focused on you right now. So I, I won't be deviating in the middle of Don't the show. Don't be focused that, on me. You need to be focused on Jen. Don't be focused on me. They, oh, I'm, there not you the, go. I'm not that guy. But we need to go ahead and start talking this tech news. <laughs> yeah. Where do you want to go? Where, where you want to start? Where you want to start? It's a lot of it's a lot of mobile news this week that we're gonna be covering. Yeah. So uh, let's go ahead and go and get into uh, the one that you brought up about phone batteries, things of that nature. I think that's a, a pretty good one right there. So um, give the folks a little, little little insight in terms of ways of maintaining <laughs> battery life on their mobile devices and some best practices, some tips and tricks, kinds of things. Got you. So um, I I just. This is my third LG V60. And before the screen got cracked, um, I was experiencing my battery draining. And I was like, what am I doing on, you know, why is my battery draining so fast? And I didn't understand. Maybe it's something I'm doing wrong. Maybe it was just, you know, the, a, a bad phone. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't know what was going on. And I ran across this article 
And I thought it was pretty cool. And um, they were saying that there were some reasons why your phone might be draining fast. And, um, you know, they were basically saying to devices get more energy efficient as batteries get larger. But battery life is still a concern for most users. Maybe that might be you just like it is me. So if you are having problems with your phone and battery drainage, just type in me or raise your hand in the comments. <laughs> um, but we're uh, here to tell you some of the most common battery hogs in the smartphone world. And uh, that could possibly be your screen, yeah. spotty service, the apps that are running in the background, how old is your smartphone and um, other battery drainers. So let's go through them real quick. <laughs> Right. Yeah. And, so, and folks, this, this is across the board. So it's not just an iOS conversation here. So it's, it's not just a, an Apple thing. This is this is for y'all Android people as well. But I, I think number four should be number one. But I'm, I'm going to leave you alone. I think the older your, your device is, the, the more <laughs> prone you are okay. to issues. But go ahead. Okay. Brother. All right. So the screen um, is the biggest battery hog since the modern smartphone uh, came to be. Panels keep getting bigger, brighter and more colorful and as well as uh, sporting higher definitions. We even have a large foldable phones like mine and dual screen devices. Mm -hmm. um, though these improvements add to the general experience, they also make uh, smartphones more power hungry. So the question is, how bright is your phone? So do you need to turn down that brightness down just a little bit? Um, so basically, you might want to lower the screen battery. Uh, uh, that, I mean, lower the screen uh, brightness, shall we say, and then that might be able to help you. Um, what I did was I did a uh, nighttime mode. Yeah. And so basically yeah. when it starts to get dark or whatever the sunset time is, um, my phone goes into night mode now. So I'm not sure, you know, how that goes with you or how your phone goes. But, you know, you might want to look into that. Um, but before we do that, um, they're saying check your battery usage. Yeah. So to do that, if you have an Android, I'm not sure how it works on your iOS. I think it's up on the screen. You open yeah. the settings app, select battery, um, hit the three dot menu, tap on battery usage, hit the three dot menu on the top right hand corner and then tap to show the full device usage. And then that will show you how much your how much battery life you have left. All right. So um, that screen battery or screen uh, brightness can kill your battery. So you might want to just think about just dropping down the drop down menu on your phone and just yeah. bring down that brightness. And that might save a little bit of uh, the battery. I'm not saying it's going to help. Everything is going to be the end all be all. But I think that that would help you um, a lot. OK. And um, well, this article. See that's that I'm, I'm gonna interject because that's a statement for the young folks out there look i, I didn't I already hit 50 years old brother and, and i gotta have <laughs> i gotta have the light up as, as pretty bright for me i don't i don't, I don't need the the, the the characters and the letters to be big yet but i i definitely need the brightness on my phone so i'm sorry I, i'm gonna have to keep it plugged in or something i, I can't be lowering lowering the uh the brightness on well, my phone. well here here's some here's some options here there there's some options i think you have it on the screen I, I said lower the screen brightness. Um, you could reduce the screen refresh rate, which I know a lot of people are not going to do that. Yeah, but some no, devices sport screens with higher refresh rates, and often you can customize this in the settings. I don't see you doing that. Um, reduce your auto lock times. Now, this is something that you can do. You know, you can reduce the auto lock times to ensure your screen isn't on, just waiting um, to possibly okay. be used. Yeah, yeah. So maybe set it for two. Set it for two minutes. Set it yeah. for five minutes. You know, and instead of it just always being on, maybe even the one minute. I know one minute is too short for me, but, you know, I think I got mine at either two or five. Um, maybe it, no, I don't think a lot of people over 40 will have live wallpapers. Watch it now. But Watch it now. OK, <laughs> I'm just saying I'm, I'm just saying live wallpapers. I mean, that's something that more of the youth would probably do. Um, they look nice, but your phone essentially is playing a video at all times. And that's definitely going to kill your battery. Um, here's another one that you might want to think about. Use black wallpaper. So, um, yeah, I've got, I've got using, mine set for two minutes. I was just checking, but, uh, okay. <laughs> Yours is set for two, <laughs> two minutes. Yeah, two minutes. All right. Using black wallpaper is the most power efficient because the display doesn't have to activate those pixels. It's argued the difference isn't huge, but every bit of help is welcomed. Um, yeah. So th the second one, 
could be spotty service. Now, to how the um, areas That's with huge. bad cell areas with bad cell phone reception are silent battery killers, which is even more annoying than not watching the latest uh, uh, pet videos. Your cell phone constantly communicates with nearly uh, with nearby towers, trying to keep you connected with every second of the day. Sometimes it can't and will work extra hard to reach the network and get you back on the grid. So some of the things that you could probably do is uh, switch your carrier. Um, so, you know, I'm T-Mobile. It's great in metropolitan areas. But if you're somewhere in the suburbs or somewhere, you know, that's not, you know, because you, you're Verizon. So Verizon is Correct. big in your area, right? Correct. Correct. Yeah. So, I mean, I've been places where my T-Mobile service did not work at all until I got to the main road. And, it, you know, that's spotty service. I, I, I wasn't able to get any messages. So, I mean, just depending on what area, you know, the carrier has, you know, that that's 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 key. So it's almost like you picking your Internet service, whether it's um, <laughs> Comcast, AT&T or uh, fiber, if you're lucky to get that. Um, we're not going to talk about airplane mode or network extender signal boosters. If you're probably out in the, in the woods or something like that, yeah. Or you yeah, th th those, those are, those are off kind of w w other use cases, right? I think that a typical person should really focus on, on the other ones there, but you're, yeah, you're right. Um, number three apps and background services. Um, now this is going to probably be is the huge? one right here. Is Plenty it? of apps kill your battery without active usage. Applications like Facebook, Messenger, Instagram, WhatsApp are common ones. Communication yeah. services all the like apps these we use all the time. You, keep you in touch with the <laughs> or keep you in touch and updated all the time. This means the apps constantly operate in the background, using data, pulling your location, sending notifications, and more. Not to mention that we tend to spend a lot of time using them whether you are endlessly checking your feed or messaging uh, friends and family. Yeah. So uh, maybe you want to keep your apps downloads to the minimal. Um, oh, no. You probably well, think see, about it. I mean, see, I'm, I'm just interjecting. I'm, I'm really just trying to be that heckler in the back of the room right no, now. But I, so, this is good, but I'm you know. giving you reasons why you should down. I mean, True. you should take yes. some of these apps off because you're, when you think about it, if you do like a disc clean or a phone clean, It'll say these are some of the apps that you're really not using. True, and so true. I downloaded a few apps like Coinbase. I'm not even into crypto, but mm -hmm. I have the Coinbase app. I'm not using it. Mm -hmm. Why do I have it on my phone? It was cool for the first day that I signed up, but I'm not using it. There's some other apps that's on my phone that I'm not using either, but um, I probably need to do that. You know, close your apps. So what you don't know is just because you backed out of the app does not necessarily mean that. That's a big one you closed out the app. So you may yeah. want to go into your actual settings and you know, when you hit that back button, that did not close out. I have a home button. I th it's, what is it? The home, the back, and what's the other button that they have on the phone? It's, it's the fourth button or third button, but it's on my phone. I don't know if you can see it at the bottom. It's the fourth one right here underneath Chrome. Um, if I hit this, It'll tell me all the apps that are running in my background. So just because I backed out of it does not necessarily. So right now I'm playing spades. I'm not playing spades, but it's still draining my battery right now. My Google Play is still running in my background. My email is still running in my background. My YouTube is still running in my background. So you might want to close out some of those apps that you have open in your background. Yep, so yep. just think about that. Maybe this could help save some of your battery life. All right, moving on to number four. How old is your phone? <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, this should have been number one. This is <laughs> this should be number one um, right here, folks. We're gonna get you to spend that money. Yeah. yeah, I mean, depending on how old your phone is, basically how old is the battery? Smartphone batteries start to lose performance with time, um, and as well as with heat. And in fact, age is the primary reason for your battery life gets shorter as your phone gets older. And you already know a lot of these uh, smartphone carriers, they want you to get the latest and greatest phone. Mm -hmm. They want to tell you everything about it. And if you're two years or older, it's time to upgrade, you know? So um, I think Apple was guilty of, you know, doing some, you know, shutting down some services 
or you know slowing down yeah. some services no. or something yeah. like that yeah they got caught so. with their hands in the cookie jar and, and messing around limiting act, uh, capability on some older phones and that was was not a good look it's true yeah so um the best the only bad thing with these smartphones now is they don't have the removable battery so i think the lg yeah. g5 was the last phone that had the removable battery um so basically you can't even change the battery so your only other option is buy a new phone so um other battery problems and tips think about your gps your wi-fi and bluetooth um uh, think about your camera uh stay up to date with your software updates and they're also recommending getting a portable charger a good battery pack will keep your phone alive longer uh, without keeping you tethered to a wall so um, just think about that another thing that i've learned is don't go to bed with the phone on the charger because it's already at 100 percent. you're sleeping turn the phone off put it on the charger and then turn the phone off like when you wake up in the morning when you're getting up yeah. and go take your shower or whatever turn that phone off put it on the charger it's going to charge faster from the time you get up to the time you walk out that door, you'll probably be at 100 percent, especially if you have one of those 25 watt um, 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 smart. What is it? What, what's the new charger that they call it? The fast charger. So yes. if you have one of those fast chargers, just turn your phone off when you get up in the morning. Let the phone, you know, die out or make sure all your apps are closed out, you know. And then when you wake up in the morning, turn the phone off. It'll charge faster as opposed to it being on. I think that would be some great tips right there. Look at you coming through, providing value for trying, the man. for the listeners I'm and the trying. people on the screen. I'm trying. I'm trying to catch up with comments because we got some good comments. But look, everything you just said makes sense, right, folks? Stay up on your apps. Stay up on the on the release of the of the OS, iOS, or Android. Um, yeah, when you close out of an app, it's not really closed and it's still draining and it's using bandwidth, it's using resources. So just be cognizant of that. And, and also, just, just like Tallboy said, carry a portable charger with you, something because you're going to need it. Uh, when we start right. traveling again and we're in the airport, I don't want to start seeing everyone sitting around a little power plug because they're trying to charge up their phone. Be smart. I just found it. a ticket from Boston to Portugal for you 310 going? today. <laughs> you bought it, didn't you? No, not yet, but I might buy it tonight. All right. Well, but I will six. have my portable chargers when I go over there. <laughs> I will have my portable chargers when I go over there. Well, I'll tell you my favorite brand um, um, uh, next show if I decide to buy the ticket. But okay. keep on. Let's stay on topic. Well, no, I was, I was going to say save some money because you did get an acknowledgement of that uh, that lunch or dinner date here. So Keely's going to take <laughs> take you up on those crab legs. So so don't don't. don't no, you that. said crab legs. I said Chipotle. Yeah. Don't be doing oh, me, man. You okay. get that burrito bowl and uh, we're going to uh, talk about it. And, and Tammy going to cook for us. So it's, it's all going to be good. It's all going to be good. I see yeah, some other folks go. in the building. Bishop, we see you, sir. Appreciate you. Oh, shout to out to the bishop. Well. He was yes. right there in the clutch for me, uh, trying to get into uh, the back room, the green room over here. Okay, yeah, bishop was clutch. Yeah, bishop was clutch. bad man. We got to get the bishop on. Yeah, we got to get bishop on here to talk tech. What was it? V mix that we were working with. He he. We were up with the. Let me tell y'all something. Bishop had us up at three o'clock in the morning, his time, working through some V mix call issues. We we called Sammy. We called the bishop. And we, we finally got some things going, but uh, it's, it's, it's all this right. This is all it's, when we first started. Yes, sir. Man. Yes, sir. When we so first we, started. We go back. Brother Worthy, I see you in the building. You, 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 see, you, see the, you see the swag, man. I appreciate you too, sir. Get in touch with uh, Sylvia and Andrew. They'll take care of you for some of your things as well. Um, what we got here? Now, we this, got? now, this offer for lunch is only for Keeley, uh, nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, look at look, Laura says Sammy don't never sleep. That's true for a young cat. Look, yeah, he, Sammy he, don't sleep. Like I wonder where Sammy he gets power naps. But we got to stay on topic, man. We got to stay on topic because you only your got a handful thing. of topics tonight, right? So it's the same I, amount I, of topics that we always do. I'm, what are you talking I'm, about? I'm elongating the conversation, trying to get engaged with the folks, and I'm in I'm in a weird mood already because listen, today has been Groundhog's Day all over. Uh, what is it? Mom said, can we do pot pie in the freezer? What? You know, these are the things that's popping up on my screen right now. I have I, nothing to do with that, man. I'm about to have, have pot pie to tonight. Let's stay okay. focused. Okay. 
Google. Oh, Alphabet. Google is trying to trying to be friendly, trying to be helpful. Google is convinced. <laughs> no, they're not. They're trying to get you to spend your money. <laughs> See, well, again, they, they say they convince that they can help you with uh, some shopping tools, some integrations into the Chrome browser. I'm a big honey. I'm a big Rakuten. Um, what's the other one? I think those are the two tools that I really wish. I've used Wish before, too, as well. Uh, and, you know, I, I use them a lot, especially shopping in Amazon and all that, looking for the, for the best deals, the best prices. But Google is trying to bring in a lot of that functionality directly into Chrome by allowing you to connect your loyalty programs into your Google account. So irregardless of where you go, uh, they're, they're going to bring uh, the best deals. They're going to tell you uh, if it's in stock or not. Uh, they're they're going to tell you uh, promo codes and things of that nature. I, you, you can go into a little bit more detail if you want about the actual context of the story, but I, I'm, I'm interested to see how this is going to work because a high percentage of folks live in Chrome because it, it's a decent browser. It, it's got a lot of extensibility, but, um, I don't know. I mean, it, for, for me, this, this just add, adds another aspect of, of Google knowing so much about what I'm doing. Right. And, and now you want me to give you my, uh, American airlines. You want me to give you my, my target. You want me to give you my, uh, this, this, and this, all the loyalty programs that I belong to capital one or whatever, and put it all into, into your environment. Man, you you worse than Uncle Sam, brother. I I just paid I just paid my taxes and let, and let me tell you something. <laughs> Google worse than Uncle Sam right now. So, so the backstory. For yeah, the you know, because you know, I, I come out I come out of right field, right? Uh, you you got to keep up. You got to keep up, folks. Google has announced an open cart reminders for shopping built right into Chrome. It allows you to track your open carts on shopping websites inside the browser without you having to leave the corresponding websites open indefinitely. Um, but the company basically has also introduced a few other shopping features that are worth highlighting, including an option that allows you to connect your loyalty programs, as James was saying, with your Google account to show you the best prices right away. So if you're shopping and you see a price, somehow Google will say, hey, don't forget that that plane ticket for $59 from San Jose, California to San Francisco is still in your cart, you know, like don't forget. Or if you have um, uh, Starbucks or if you have um, Best Buy or something like that um, as a loyalty program, they're basically saying, hey, we can match or show you the better dollar or what's what's how do I word it? We can show you what's better um whether it's on their website or whether what we found on the internet so basically that's something that you know google is saying or chrome is saying that we're not able to do so it's no different from you know you being in amazon saying that this is in your cart well now chrome is saying we still got you <laughs> um and it's funny because i'm looking at my phone right now and I mean, excuse me, looking at this monitor right now. And the last thing that I looked up was AppSumo. And sure enough, there's an AppSumo ad right here on my uh, screen as far as an advertisement. So it's kind of freaky because well, as soon as you say something or you Google something, it already tracks what, yeah. you're, what you do. Now for you to say, I bought something and it's sitting in your cart, you know, or you put something in the cart, don't forget that it's here. They want you to spend the money. I don't know how they do this, but, you know, it's definitely that artificial intelligence. Yeah. So. Well, you, you see the Mini Cooper ad right here. I told you I just bought my daughter a Mini Cooper uh, last. So so here we go on, on my side, man. They, they watch it. So, so and that's the thing. Right. And what I was trying to highlight while you were talking <laughs> is, you know, Google is saying the shopping graph is a dynamic AI enhanced model that understands and constantly changing set of products, sellers, brands, reviews, and most importantly, the product invitate the product information and inventory data that to be more relevant to what your shopping desires and your shopping needs are. So the, the whole so no one's physically behind the scenes typing this in on a key. It's all AI driven. It's all machine learning, things of that nature. So right. it's it's intelligent and incredibly intelligent 
incredibly fast. Uh, you literally type something into a search and, and things start popping up and Google can start now making recommendations. They're not doing this for free. You, you know this, folks. So if they come to have paying for it. Exactly. They're, they're going to have all these working relationships and partnerships with those loyalty programs. So they're funneling money from data mining you, the consumer, back to Google slash Alphabet, the larger corporation. That just reminded me, I think we need to have a conversation about uh, culture as well, C-L-T-U-R-E, about owning your own social data. Angela Benton is the CEO for that, com that company. I actually took advantage of them I, I used them about six months ago, pulled all of my social data from Amazon, Netflix, Google, and a couple of other sites, shipped it off to them. They analyzed it. And I, I did get paid for my social data. So there's, there's ways that we can actually get paid for all of this data mining that Google, Amazon, that all these large Apple, that all these large organizations are using. I, I will, I'll take it actually time to, to bring that up. And, and it's relevant to this because again, you, 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 you opt into something like this, and, and that's a huge conversation right now, opting into this capability. Um, these larger organizations are going to be mining your information, mining your data, mining your habits, and seeing where you shop. Again, I just bought a, a, a Mini Cooper a couple of weeks ago, and boom, it's still showing up here in, in my uh, sidebar here for, uh, for some reason. They think I want to buy another one, but I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, what you going to do? Like America yeah, is still I mean, a capitalist I mean, Google, country, and, like, like Laura says there. <laughs> you got to remember, you know, Chrome, everyone knows Chrome. They feel comfortable with Chrome. So mm -hmm. uh, all they're doing is integrating what they want. And if they say this is what goes, I mean, how many people are really going to fire off Firefox or use Microsoft Edge? I mean, Google Chrome is a household name. So... Yeah, Firefox is a great browser too. Uh, I I I do like Firefox because they consciously focus on security, as opposed to mm -hmm. and and like limit ad ad blocking is built in. They've got some pretty cool features for like YouTube. You can out, you can download YouTube videos. I mean, you, you can do a lot of stuff that's built into that. But you, you're right. More and more people, e even as iPhone users, right? We're not using Safari. We're not because Safari is 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 kind of lacking in terms of functionality we're using chrome no one's using edge uh i mean, no no one's using the microsoft explorer or slash edge browser you're using the, the big the big one out there you know google you know chrome so that's the one that you're using on all of your devices but um i don't know so this this opens up a lot of concerns and questions again about access to individual data a lot, a lot of conversations we've been having lately t tend to lead towards privacy and, and this just adds into that. There's got to be some type of way of opting in, opting out of having Google know so much about you whenever you're shopping and using their browser. Well, if they do that, I mean, just think about what we've been talking about the last two weeks with Apple saying that they want you to opt into their security updates and what they're doing. So, I mean, there's no way to get around what Google is telling you. So it's either you opt in or you're stuck with it, if that makes sense. Yeah if that makes sense, unless you use another browser. But yeah. once again, Chrome, every, okay, Google, you know, <laughs> hold on, you know, uh, yeah, I was about to say, like, I, I looked at my, as soon as that, <laughs> but, but see, look, I automatically looked at my phone as soon as I'm like, oh my God, I hope I didn't, you know, activate it. But if you say it, you know, it's right there. So, yeah. I mean, it's no different from you talking about the updates that, you know, the up that Apple was demanding of uh, over the last couple of weeks saying mm -hmm. you're going to eventually have to update to our terms of service or else you're going to lose features. They're just basically saying, hey, I'm going to use this. You're going to use this this browser and we're going to, you know. Tell you if you put something in that cart, we're going to remind you. <laughs> that, that's what it boils down to. That's true. That's true. So, yeah, Laura, we're going to give you some props. So uh, you're you're probably in the minority, but we love it, though. You're still you're using Edge and you're using Bing as well. So, um, OK, Laura, we, more power to you. I, you I know, mean, like I said, it's relearning a whole new system. Yeah. But once again, the masses are going to, you know, do what. If it's been integrated with you or you've had it ever since you were in high school or since you were in college. That's the browser that you know. 
that's what you're going to use. It's all good. That's all good. You can come to the party. We're not we're not going to kick you out of the, out of the cookout. We're going we're going to no beat up. No. Yeah, it's nah. all, it's all right. It's all right. All right, man. Um Android 12. A lot of stuff um, going this, on. Y'all trying to do some things, huh? Yeah, but this isn't really new. But basically they're saying if you go buy their Pixel phone, you can yeah. turn um you can turn it into a car key. Um, it's only for one model right now, which is the BMW, mm -hmm. but, um, Android, excuse me, Apple announced that the iPhone would become a digital car key, uh, a year ago. Right. And now Google is saying, we're going to do the same thing. If you have, um, a select pixel or a galaxy phone, um, you can double it as a car key later, uh, this year. Um, basically they're saying it's only available for one car, which is the BMW, as I mentioned earlier. Yeah. And, um, I don't know. I, I don't know about this. I get it. You got your key fob, you got your key. Now you got your phone. And now they're saying the end goal here is to replace your bulky key fob, which yeah. already lets you enter a car without removing it from your pocket. Uh, with your phone instead using a new ultra wide band radio to securely tell your car that you're actually standing right in front of it. Yeah. I think this will be cool maybe five, 10 years down the road. But I think right now where we stand, you know, it's like it's cool technology. Like, oh, I start. I, I used to have in the car, you know, one of my previous cars that I had, I had the instant car starter remote. You walk into your car yeah, to yeah, warm yeah. the car up. <laughs> I, I had that, you know, one of the you know, flex or, you know, impress a young lady, you know, or, you know, scare somebody, you know, like his car just started, but, you know, and then the music was already blasting loud, you know, when I was younger. So, I mean, now you're basically saying I can walk up with my phone and then I can unlock myself and I can, you know, unlock my, unlock the car door and then I can get in and start it. And I have my phone. I don't need my fob. Basically it's saying you can basically use your phone. I mean, quite naturally, the phone goes everywhere you go. So yeah. quite naturally, this technology, it's here. It's yeah. coming. So, well, I mean, it, go ahead. Uh, so I've, I've got this technology. So, so so my car has the ability. I can I can do this as well. And I can tell you that, yeah, it, it's, it's neat. It's a great party trick. And it, there's a lot of things that, that my car can do that are great party tricks, but I don't use them on a regular recurring basis. I have used this a, a, a couple of times, but for, for the most part, um, it, I, I don't. I don't think it's over. I don't think it's as long as away as you say, though. You say five years away. I think it's really mm -hmm. starting to, to to start coming into fruition because more and more vehicles, more and more car manufacturers are saying, "I need more technology. I need to electrify. I need to bring more more consumer." Uh, utility to to the vehicle so how, how do i make it easier for you to enjoy this driving experience so so i see probably within the next two years to be honest with you more and more manufacturers offering this capability and again remember this is not all bmws that are doing this this is just what uh their their i i think it's the i4 the, the four series the new uh sedan that's coming out Look, it, it's it's the wave of the future, brother, and the future is right here. So within the next one, two, two and a half years, we're going to have more and folks, more and more people having the capability of doing this. Kia, I think, even had something like this. Uh, was it the Soul, the Kia Soul? One of those little cars had this capability a while ago as well. Didn't really take off because not everyone wants to roll a Kia. No, no disrespect to them, you know. It, it gets you to where you need to be, but. Hey man, those smart cars are the best thing out. I don't care what anybody <laughs> says. My seven foot tail will get in one of those little Kia Soul Sparks or anything else small because when you get to those events, I would love. And to you see can't a find parking. Right. You can park right there on the street, and you're like beep beep, and would, pull right on in. I would love to see a video of that. That's that's all I'm saying. I got videos. I thought you saw me at South by Southwest. I was bigger I, than the actual car. I, I I did, but I, I have to send you a picture. Yeah, we we need to bring those back. But back back on 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 the topic though. Um, Lord help me. It's a party trick, but it's it's pretty cool, right? right? But but again, no, uh, it's no it, different it, from the instant start. I mean, the only difference is you're using your phone as opposed to yeah, yeah, yeah. you paying you know two hundred two hundred and fifty dollars for 
the instant start, you know, button on your, you know, on your key, you know, on the on the lock button. You know, you just pay the two hundred and fifty dollars and the car automatically starts. Now, what would be cool is if it'll pull up, you know, valet for you or, pull, you know, pull up to the front of the restaurant. Now, that would be pretty. That cool, would be dope. You know, that would be kind of dope. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can do that. Uh, I'm just saying. I can back yeah. the car. I can back the car out of the out of the driveway if I wanted to. Well, you don't look. People do not want you to, to start talking about that. So we'll move don't, on to the next topic. Don't let your boy get to stun. You want to still talk about some of the Andro- uh, Android 12 updates, though? Because um, yeah, go you, ahead. Uh, you know, I, I don't Google see the article. I. Yeah, so you Google go I/O was re-announced today. Uh, coming i think it's next year so obviously they came out and started talking about some of the cool things that are going to be popping off and jumping off for um android 12 as well um good stuff obviously good good stuff in terms of a release date uh still don't know but in it's out of beta so whoever was beta testing android 12 uh maybe you can chime in and tell us about it Uh, refreshing the ui is always a good thing making it more you're seeing a lot of things getting more more of these rounded corners as, and, and more softer edges just in terms of usability and, and capability. You see Apple doing this as well, but Google really does a nice job with making the operating environment look appealing. Uh, so so I was glad to see kind of that come in. Um, always talking about privacy, always talking about security and Google doesn't talk enough, I think, about privacy and about security because they and I think they really need to get on that mountain, get on that soapbox and and shout it because they control so much. Right. They are the number one and number two search engines on the planet. Google being number one, YouTube being number two. And that's all within the same house. So for them to be able to tout and say, you know what, within our mobile devices, we are now really starting to focus on on your privacy and your security, uh, making sure that third parties don't know what you're doing, that you actually have some type of encryption integrated and built in. I think that's a good thing. That's obviously a good thing. Um, Photos. No one's going to really use their, uh, I shouldn't say that. No one uses their, no one uses their phone to to make phone calls. (laughs) Everyone uses their phone to take pictures. So uh, I I think that's all. It's always a good thing to see them adding, adding uh, mobile manufacturers doing this type of thing. What's that? I, I didn't care about it, but it's a camera fixes its skin color issues and cameras in general are notorious for handling the white balance of non-white faces terribly. And the AI hasn't much helped uh, the problem, but Google has been working on uh, better capture mm-hmm. and um, better photography algorithms for darker skin tones, curly hair and more. Um, basically the updates will be coming to pixel phones and the wider Android ecosystem in the fall. Yeah. So I, I mean, for us as African Americans, I guess you'll get, you know, they'll show the true color of you your so? skin tone. You think so? We'll see. I don't think so. No, we'll I see. don't think so. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll keep having to bring what? out, bring out this LUT that I'm using, you know, th- this little filter that I'm using to you know, make, the, make the skin look smoother than it, than it already is, than it normally is. So, but th- those yeah. were the main things. Those were the main things. Privacy, uh, a revamped UI, uh, always some photo characteristics, because again, I think the majority of folks, we, we were, we don't, we rarely use our phones to make phone calls. We're always out there taking uh, photos and videos. That's, that's always a good thing. But, um, It'd be interesting to see. Uh, uh, my son is looking to go back towards the Android platform, so this may be the thing that 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 pushes him over the edge again because he he's, he's, he just loves uh, uh, Android versus iOS. So who, who knows? Just some of these capabilities that, that makes you proud, doesn't it? Because because you you know Isaiah. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> Messing with my okay. kid. No, I didn't t- I, look. I didn't sway his opinion. He he made his own decision. He he's now said, "Dad, it's time for me to leave the nest, and I'm going with Team uh, Android." And he's a very smart man. What's wrong That's with these teenagers say. today, folks? Good Lord, what's wrong with the teenagers? Talk to us, folks. Uh, we we got one last story, really, and and they, we got three 
uh, web pages, but they all kind of integrated into one for one last story. What, what are your guys' thoughts on kind of what we've talked about thus far? Are you team Android, team iOS? Are you looking forward to uh, what's coming out in Android 12? Um, I don't think nobody cares about Android 12. I think they care more about that battery life on their phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, to be honest with you, I mean, remember, this is for consumers. I mean, we're talking the tech that we're talking, maybe a little. And I'm not trying to discount anybody, but this might be a little bit over their head, you know. But it's like nobody cares about the updates. Is it something that's like really that I need? And that's why I told you today about the phone battery. You know, this was something that maybe. That could be beneficial today. You know, the Android uh, 12 pixel phone, you could use it to start your car. You know, like that's like you said, that's some cool technology once or twice. You know, you're trying to impress somebody, but nobody really cares. And th now the Google shopping. Yeah. Like you said, that's something people need to pay attention to. Yeah. They, they really need to, because you're going to be wondering why is this you know, constant. Why am I constantly seeing this? And once, you, once again, Google is going to beat it in your head that this is the new normal. And then, you know, by the end of the year, when Christmas time comes around, it's oh, I put something in that card and I don't remember where it is. Oh, yes, you do. It's right there. So <laughs> <laughs> Google's got you. It's, so, in, it's, it's, it's saved yeah, yeah, in your Google's cash. Got you. Yeah, you know. They, so they know. yeah, so, so I think so. I think those are things that you know. Like I said, those two topics are really pertinent mm -hmm. um, to the consumer. I, I, do I really think that they care about you know Microsoft Teams launching all day video calling? I mean, you can do that right now with Messenger and and um, uh, Skype. What else can you use it with WhatsApp or, you know, or any or, or Instagram video calling? You can do that already. So, I mean, I don't think people are really too in tune to, you know, any of that, you know, and especially with the And this is no disrespect. It's just that's just my thought process on it, you know. And the reason and so I'll I'll just interject because that's what I do. Um, the reason I brought up the team story is because everyone Video conferencing during the last 14 months has been synonymous with Zoom. Zoom has been synonymous right. with, again, how, how am I right. going to either do business, how I'm going to engage and connect with my family, whatever the case may be. You can't sleep on Microsoft. You, you just can't. Microsoft is is who they are and they do what they do. It's, it's a darn shame what's happening with Bill and Melinda. Uh, it's, that's unfortunate, but Microsoft is Microsoft. And it was a bumpy road launching the the, pri the personal Microsoft Teams platform on the business side and the and the enterprise side, it, it works not too bad. But again, a free platform to allow you to collaborate, to allow you to have more than four. You can have, I think, up to 50. You can have a lot of folks on, on the screen at one time. So it's just an option. But but again, in terms 100. of... Well, so look at there. There you go. It's up to a hundred. I think. And it's, even, I think you can do three hundred, but I know that they said they were going to cut you off. Okay. Um, after a hundred, so it says you'll be able to meet up with up to three hundred people in video calls that can last for twenty four hours. I don't. Know Microsoft will eventually enforce limits of sixty minutes for group calls for up to a hundred people after the pandemic, but keep twenty four hours for one on one calls. There you go. So consolidation of a lot of other platforms out there. I know you mentioned that folks, you know, yeah, we're, we're used to Instagram. We're used to TikTok. We're used to group me, um, whomever else that's out there as well. But it, at least it's good to know the options that are out there. And it, it, it I find it, I find it appealing to know that the, the bigger companies are out there trying to provide some type of uh, utility and some type of value for people that are looking for this type of connectivity. So, you it's know, funny I'm, that I'm, you say it, it's funny that you say that because yeah. I just had a business call with um, our good friends over at J5 Create and mm -hmm. they recommended a Microsoft Teams call over a Zoom call. Okay. And um, I, I had problems actually trying to log in, believe it or not, because I don't use Microsoft Teams and I don't use Zoom. You know, yeah. my thing is we're going to use WhatsApp and yeah. And we make it work or right. we'll just chat via email or a phone call.
Did he go away? I should take a screenshot of that because that's a great image right there. I don't know. Look at I'm my. Not sure if I oh, there okay. you go. You're back. Oh. You're back. Okay. Oh, uh, as as I was saying, now if I, would I be wrong if I just fired off the the, the blooper uh, the blooper thing where we froze up? But the stay the stay on topic. Um, I like how you just play it off like nothing ever even happened. Um, <laughs> I got a great poker face, brother. I got a great oh, man. poker face. <laughs> Great poker face. Go ahead. Mm, um, as I was saying, um, I, I found it quite surprising that they chose Microsoft Teams over Zoom. That was very surprising to me. Um, at, because like I said, most companies have gone to Zoom and they say that this is the method of choice. And for them to say, hey, let's have a business call. Um, they chose Microsoft Teams. I, I was not familiar with it. Yeah. And with me not being familiar with it, I had to do a quick crash course on how to get it activated, how to get my camera up and running, um, which, you know, you think you just log into the link, you know, log into the link, you type in your password and, you know, you're there. Yeah. Some type of security setting it kicked in and I had to figure it out real quick. And, you know, we were able to resume our normal business. So, yeah, yeah Teams um, is think, not as intuitive as, as Zoom is, to be, to be honest with you. And, and I use it on a daily basis. It, it, it's not as intuitive, but it's it's really decent for collaboration. So um, integrating SharePoints, integrating uh a wikis integrating content management a whole, whole bunch of things like that um that's where it's going so, so so that's that's a good portion of what microsoft is trying to do with teams but yet zoom is still the leader and quick conversations kind of like like you were saying the quick social apps that you get on your phone the the whatsapps and the group meets, things like that they, they get the job done they, they they just really do google meets i'm still a big google meet guy so i really mm. like that uh so there you go. Yeah, so Keely tried to get the uh, the screenshot of when you froze because I, I was still going and and I was I was I was loving seeing you just stuck in purgatory there. That's a bad. I shouldn't have said purgatory. Oh well. Next story. All good. You all right? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Um, you had a story where you talked about Amazon, Spotify, and yeah. Apple Music, and they just released something. I didn't quite understand this story, so maybe you could assist me because it was like you're already playing music and you're telling me that you're going to give me a better quality of sound yeah um can you break that down for me because i, I don't get it because i'm thinking if i'm paying for a subscription service i'm thinking that you're going to give me the best quality but now you're telling me that i'm not getting the best quality <laughs> but now you're going to get the best quality <laughs> with this <laughs> high five so I, I don't know you sent this to me no, I, I would love to, to. I would love to understand it a little bit better. No, that, that, that's a good, valid point as well. So I'll, I'll go into it. So literally at the exact same time, uh, I mean, within hours of each other, Amazon, Spotify, Apple came out and said, "You know what? We're going to start offering all of our subscribers higher quality, higher bit rate, lower latent, just more." audio file focus types of um, services. Um, so, and lossless, lossless audio is where, so higher bit rates than kind of typically what you're getting right now. I, I think it's very interesting. Again, I got the man with the minute made in his hand. I should have probably asked, told him that I was bringing him back on camera. <laughs> Keely, you should have got that screenshot. Um, so what is lossless audio? It's really something that the majority of folks aren't going to take advantage of, to be honest with you. It, it's really for the discerning ear. It's for the one who was looking for that 3.1, 5.1, maybe even 7.1 type of uh, uh, experience with music. And let me 
park this in my brain as well. Next week, when we have uh, Derek Floyd from IK Multimedia, he can have this conversation with us as well because he is within that industry, right? Audio and video, technical, technophile, and things like that. So he can have this conversation on a more uh, constructive basis. But it's it's really that really higher bit rate, more more n- not just loud, but more clarity more separation of everything that's on the track uh, on, on the mixing board you, know, you can hear the instruments more clear you can hear the vocals clear and, and again it's not just loudness it, it, it's more the clarity type of thing so all of the, all of the major platforms were announcing this but it's only available to those of you who are those of us who are already subscribe to a premium service so if you subscribe to uh Amazon Music and I, and already pay for a subscription, you're going to get this capability. If you subscribe to Spotify Premium, not the free version, you're going to get this capability as well. And you have to be a member to have uh, Apple Music, so you're going to have capability this as well. Not every song within the catalog is going to have this capability. So, um, but time out because you're talking technical. I even Google lossless audio, and I still don't get it because to me, it's a song. And when I hear a Beyonce, I hear a Too Short, I hear a Pink, I hear um, a Bruno Mars. The song is the song, right? I mean, you're talking about so what? So we're talking about coming over the air. And, and Kili, I'm going to bring up your statement as well, because that was that was next in what I was talking about. We're, so, so also consider that audio file traveling across the internet because it's a streaming service but think about the compression piece right you've got to compress that audio file down into a usable size that can actually be streamed effectively without being buffered remember the old days when we had buffering going on on, on the internet now everyone's got great right, internet Napster, services right. so they don't have it geez you flash back and said napster but 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 that's right right so now we don't have to worry about that everyone's now everyone quote unquote the majority of folks have a really great internet connection they have a really great mobile connection as well so remove some of that compression within the audio file and actually stream the the content to the user the way that the artist created it without lowering the levels without lowering the uh the effectiveness of of the individual tracks on on the on the on the on the on the mixer that's what lossless provides a great point that needs to be made as well, and again, Keely brought this up, and I was going, I was going to talk about this. Yeah, you may have uh, the subscription to Apple Music, or yeah, you may have the subscription to Spotify Premium, but you got to have the 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 peripherals as well. A lot of folks have the old school AirPods; they're not going to be able to hear the difference. They're not they're not they're not going to hear the the spatial audio piece. Like right now, there's some. Netflix offerings and there's some specific offerings within the Apple Music Store that allow you to have uh, spatial audio uh, capability again where you can turn your head and you can actually hear the sound coming at you from different directions. You, you can actually hear it and me, me and my son have tried this and, and that, it's pretty pretty darn cool. But the old school AirPods won't allow you to do that. The new over the ear Apple headphones, the $600 ones, won't allow you to do that when you can connect it just through Bluetooth. you got to have, have a cable to do that. The only ones out of the gate right now are the AirPod Pros, and Apple is launching some new Beats wireless headphones that will have this capability in it as well. So, so, so that's a caveat that not everyone is probably aware of. Thank you, Keely, for bringing that up again. I was going to mention that. But, y- yeah, you're going to have the capability of having – less compressed, higher quality audio coming from these music services. But you're not going to be able to take advantage of it if you don't have the proper infrastructure in place as well. So if you're using the old school AirPods, the longer ones in the ears, you're not going to get it. If you're using those those big $600 uh, AirPod Maxes and trying to go wireless with it, you're not going to get that, that capability. So you're going to have to buy a cable or you're going to have to have the new AirPod Pros or the new Beats uh headphones it, it's I just it's, sent, it's convoluted it's complex i saw you just sent me something about lossless video i was, I was trying to watch the lossless the audio well. file compressed yeah, yeah. lossless audio files and compressed lossy audio files and i didn't know if you wanted to put that on the screen or not um but you don't have to um but basically i i tried to google what is 
um, a lossless audio file. And basically it just says it contains 100% of the audio data. Um, they offer the highest quality sound, but they also result in large file sizes. The two mm -hmm. most popular formats of lossless audio files are WAVE and AIFF, yes. which is audio interchange file format. So with that being said, I was just trying to get a quick definition of what lossless audio was. Um, I know we are all probably accustomed to MP3s as opposed to wave or which AIF, is again, which again is a compressed format. So, so think JPEG versus PNG versus vector versus SVG that as well. So for the photographers out there, and I'm going to bring this, this comment up here as well. This is a great comment about the pros versus the cons of, of having this capability. Are you listening to it as a musician? Maybe not. Majority of consumers aren't, and they're fine with regular MP3 compressed format because you can download music faster with a spotty Wi-Fi signal like we talked about earlier. But think of, think of the whole analogy of a photo. JPEG versus PNG versus SVG versus a vector versus whatever, right? The compression rate versus raw, right? Raw format, raw files are huge files. You got all right. the data, all the full color right. gamut, right? And you can tweak that and you can really be more prescriptive in terms of what that provides. Those JPEGs and those PNGs that we put out on social media, they're those small X kilobyte files that really are very easily transferable, but you can't manipulate those because they, they you lose a lot of the depth. You lose a lot of the behind the scenes aspect of those photos. Exact same thing when it comes to, to music files, right? So being able to hear the crash of the symbol, being able to hear specifically when 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 J. Cole hits that note, I, I just grabbed him out of the side of my head because I'm listening to him, uh, listen to his new album. But, but that's the thing right there, right? So being able to hear it as a musician where you got the Bose system, where you got the Blaupunk or the Nakamichi versus if you just got the Pioneer or the Techniques. No, no knock to them either as well. But again, just kind of an, an apples to apples conversation. The majority of folks aren't going to care, but it's the real discerning ear. It's the aficionado, the aficionado, it's the, uh, it's the Keely that says tall boys audio is cutting out and we don't know why he needs to fix his <laughs> microphone. So I didn't, I didn't even look at Keely's message and she brought it up too about, about, uh, photos. See, that's that Ecamm fam. We, we, we right in the line, brother. You better come on over to the Ecamm side. Me and Keely are. I'm not coming over to Mac, so stop. Stop while you're ahead. Well, let, me, let me see here. Lossy compressed audio has tiny little pieces taken out so the sound isn't as detailed. Does it matter for most of us? No, but when you do get exposed to CD quality stuff, damn. Look, I didn't even see that, her comment. We, we, we just, we hitting on all cylinders around here, folks. Yeah, but go. as Hit the Spot 1006 said, is that something, is it only for musicians or is it just for just the average person who has Spotify or Amazon or, you know, Apple Music? Like, will you really be able to tell a major difference? I mean, because you're paying for, well, you're getting it now because yeah. you, you already are paying for the, uh, you're, you're paying for the subscription. Um, you will hear it, but you, but you, you, but you will, should you have already it. had it. That's the thing. Like, why were you not already getting it? It's a user I mean, experience you're paying, thing. You're, so again, I can't talk I for can, it. Like, no, no, you're not. I, no, you're and not. I know you don't know. I'm not beating yeah. you up, but my yeah. thing is to Spotify, Amazon, and uh, and Apple Music. If someone is paying for a premium service. You know, uh, and I, we're not going to talk about this story, but HBO is now saying that they now have a new tier where yeah. they yeah. will allow you to pay ten ninety nine a month mm -hmm. and you can get commercials. And it's like, why would you make me pay for commercials if I've already had your service? Yeah. You know, like that doesn't make sense, you know, so. I so don't know. I, no, so so I I disagree with you on on the on the part that you you're already paying for. What you're paying for is access to unlimited streaming capability without commercials. That's what you're paying for when you buy Pandora One, when you buy Spotify Premium, when you subscribe to Apple Music and uh, Amazon HD, whatever they call it. Title was the only streaming service out the gate 
they gave you lossless hi-fi as it as they called it audio and they charged more than everyone else i think everyone else was 9.99 title came out at 11.99 I don't even know if they're still around, but you know, needless to say, that was their catch, right? They they were going for the audio file. They were going for the the real uh, speaker junkie, right? The the one who knew what music sounded like and wanted to have that higher bit rate and higher quality audio sound. So that 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 was their catch. Now this this is just a whole another as this is a whole another offering that they're giving their subscribers. I would have had a problem if they raised the price on this. But the fact that they're saying, you know what, now the majority of folks who have these kinds of services have a great Internet connection, have a great Wi-Fi plan. We're going to dial it back a little bit in terms of the restrictions and actually allow you to have this this, this access to these higher bit rate, larger files, uncompressed types of files. If they had started charging you more for it, that would have been a problem. But the fact that they're throwing it in, uh, I think I think it's a decent thing. Most folks aren't going to notice it. You, you are going to notice it every now and then. You, you notice it when you're listening on your mobile device and you have the right headphones. And again, I, I've noticed it uh, watching some Netflix shows and listening to a handful of songs on Apple Music to where, again, as you're turning your head, you've got that spatial audio. It's pretty cool. It's that whole 5.1, 7.1 type of dynamic of, of being able to have music come at you from different different directions. Um, hit the spot, 1006 is saying title service. Yes, you still listen to us. I, I didn't even know if, if they were still around, but it, it, it's a story that I brought up because, again, it, it brings confusion and Kind of like it brought confusion to you. Why Why are you bringing this to me when I thought I probably should already had this? But the rationale behind the fact that you didn't have this out the gate was because wireless networks probably weren't ready. You as a consumer, sorry, you as a consumer didn't know what you didn't have and, 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 and weren't going to take advantage of it anyway. Now that you know you're more of an educated consumer and now that the networks are 5G capable, now we can actually start bringing you some of this goodness in terms of music quality. So I get it. Yeah. Who man, I definitely need to go to the gym tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm hot and bothered. Golly. I don't know about that one, but yeah. Hey, these are your tech stories. Hey, but week. I do know about this. You were, you were just asked, uh, about your hat. Where's your, where's your little hat at brother? You know, she, what hat? Do you come out? Your, your little hat. hat. Mom is asking about, uh, she said you can go. You now, can go look, on. I was just trying to be a team player <laughs> because it was a uh, Cinco de Mayo. I mean, that, that was a one-time thing. I, I, I probably will not put that back on again until Man. maybe next year. If next we're year. Still... Watch, watch it, watch it, watch your tone now. We, if we still what, online, we, bro, we going to take this to the, to the mountain. We got to get some endorsements for me to put that, for me to put that hat back on. Well, I should stop talking because every time I talk, I say how bad I, how much I hate Mark Zuckerberg or uh, how <laughs> I got to watch what I say then. Okay, I got to be, we, we may get something from IK Multimedia because uh, shouts out to, like I say, the brother Derek Floyd. Yeah, so him. can you talk about that real quick? Um, next week, we have a guest um, that you have partnered with or that you're working with. Um, yeah. and, and can you talk about what they're doing? Yeah, so IK Multimedia, folks, if you're not aware, um, they are audio and video products, peripherals. They, there's going to be a great person to bring up this whole conversation as well about um, lossless video and, and higher quality video and things of that nature. So uh, he's going to come on and, and talk to us about products in in their catalog and what they're offering they, they've got a lot of microphones for molded devices they've got a lot of speakers for your desktop situation speakers for uh, your studio situation as well so just uh, equipment that can be used from an audio and a video perspective microphones right they, they've got some pretty nice microphones i actually hooked up with them a number of years ago and went on one of our trips to ces use their um, mobile microphones tied directly into my um, mobile phone and i don't know where he went he just turned his camera off but um 
again, be, being able to connect into your mobile phone with, with some of their mobile cameras and some of their, I'm sorry, their mobile microphones and things of that nature and be able to record, do sound recordings, high quality sound recordings and things of that nature. So like I say, Derek Floyd will be with us next week. We try to get it going this week, but it was, it was my fault. I had some, some personal things that caused us not to effectively get going. That's why we were late today. I will, I will take that uh, brunt on my shoulders. And, um, but it should be a great show. Next week, we'll be at our regularly scheduled bat time, 4.30 p.m. Pacific, 7.30 on the East Coast. Uh, look forward to you guys joining us. We are going to, who knows, we may get something away. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. Maybe I'll do a promotion with Preston So or I'll do a promotion with uh, uh, CFJ5 Curate still likes us. And I, I, I know I've been kind of negligent in some, some reviews that I had to do, but uh, I, I'll get them done. Tallboy has, has left the building. He is not even in the backstage area of the environment. So I don't know if that's uh, something wrong with his fiber connection if he's fallen off the planet uh, i don't know if he fell asleep at his desk or not but i'm gonna put it to y'all like this thank you very much for for joining us i'm gonna see what's wrong with my guy make sure that he's cool i'm, I'm gonna call him on his phone as always you know what we try to do we, we we come talk about news that's current in terms of consumer technology tall boy brings really kind of that 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 the conversation piece about what's how it's relevant to, to, to everyone. And I'm really here just to ad lib. I'm, I'm here to bring about an ask the why question, ask the how question and, and kind of just, just be that one that, that that's, that's making you answer, ask the question of why should you buy this and why should you not buy this? So we have a great yin and yang and, and the conversation is, is always good. I hope you guys in, enjoy this. I'm, I'm hearing that, the man is back there touching buttons. And, and again, that's why he's not producing right now, because he get to touching buttons and always trying to be fancy. He was trying to probably put on a, a laugh track or something to make fun of me. And this is nothing but the devil getting at him. So uh, <laughs> uh, I'll probably hear about that a little bit later. Laura, thank you for that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just reporting. But at the end of the day, it's enlightening, entertaining and, and providing some 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 great um, uh content for you guys hopefully we're doing that give us some feedback in terms of what we're doing make sure we're doing it right we're not doing this for ourselves we're doing this for you outside of that look be good to yourself take care of yourself we will see you next week on the lab be good y'all